Alright, after a few experiments, I have found out that the birds do not respawn to go to the right when you're on those pillars. So I just decided to ride on the lower one. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm pretty much riding on the lower one the whole way. Yeah, I'm just past those pillars, by the way, when I resume the game, so you didn't really miss anything, and oh my god. Oh, uh, super jump. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> that was scary. That was very scary. Oh god, ninja assault. Come on, combo attack! Yeah, baby! <laughs> that was awesome. Well, at least we're finally past that horrible part, but, uh,. After I finally figured it out once again, this will give me unlimited hearts, won't it? If I just like throw it up. No, you're not! <laughs> you're going down, Birdo! Actually, I, I kind of put that shy guy in a bad place. <laughs> That's a really bad place for that shy guy to be at. I guess I'll just kill it along with Birdo like that, yeah. And maybe I should grab that heart real quick. Yay, I'm a hearted. <laughs> Go away, Birdo! Actually, Birdo's in a pretty good spot, because I can just let the fireballs go right over the head. And look what that other... Look at that! It's floating in midair because of that plant! That is like the weirdest... Pl and it blocks the fireballs! Okay, throw your mushroom block right here. This is like the best mushroom block place ever. And there we go, Birdo's dead. <laughs> that was like the best accident that ever happened. What the heck is in here anyway? Oh, it's just the heart. I could have got unlimited hearts from that shy guy anyway, so whatever. What's in here? One up and a bomb! Holy cow! <laughs> well, at least that got me some of my one-ups that I was experimenting with back. At least one of them. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah, that's the end of 6-2. Thank God! <laughs> so now we're at 6-3. We're entering the Tower of Death. And yeah, you know, the third one of every world is always a tower. What the heck is in these things? I'm just curious. Just a whole bunch of little vegetables I don't know the name of. I forgot the name of them. <laughs> Oh, there's a shortcut if you go this way. This is definitely the best way to go. Let yourself sink in the quicksand, and then you can slowly walk through here while jumping to prevent yourself from certain death. <laughs> yep, I'm jumping that fast, by the way, and we're out! Whee! And through the door we go. Yeah, baby! Shortcuts for the win! Hey, wait a second. What the heck? I thought there was a sh What? Wasn't this a shortcut? Oh, oh, oh shoot. Uh, I got a little scared there because it was a blind jump. I knew that was a shortcut. Yeah, that's the best way to get through the level. And this is a red birdle, so it's not nearly as threat threatening. Whoops. <laughs> oh, well, unless you kind of like fail like I love to do so much. Maybe I'll just go for the eggs from this side, like this, and and yeah, throw my birdle from a distance. I'm just going to screw the mushroom block all together. <laughs> The mushroom blocks I'm always so clunky with, I don't know why. They aren't any harder to throw than any vegetables, so I don't know what the heck's wrong with me. <laughs> I blame the cold medication. And uh, that was the end of 6-3. That was a really quick one, wasn't it? Hey, hey, charge up. Hey, there we go. <laughs> and, uh, oh, it's Mouser again? I thought I, I thought the, uh, another, the sixth boss, it was um, another one of those snake guys, the uh, Triclide boss, you know, the three-headed snake, the one that shoots fire. I could have swore it was, but I guess not. Maybe it comes back later, I don't know. <laughs> But I could have swore. Oh, and yes, I forgot to mention in the other boss battle with this guy is that you can pick up the bombs and um, while he's throwing them in midair. So that's a pretty fun way to do this boss battle too. But you also got to be careful not to get pushed into other bomb explosions. And I'm just failing all over the place. And as I said before, this isn't a hard boss at all. It's just that, I don't know, I'm fa Oh, come on! I'm failing all over the place. <laughs> I just love failing, don't you? And I might as well grab it. Oh, screw you, spark guy. Yeah! Heart, yay! Toad really gets some lift when he does that super jump. <laughs> and come on, get away, you spark guy. Aww, oh, and it's. This is not hard at all! What is wrong with me? <laughs> oh, and, that, and uh, that didn't hit him at all. That spark guy should eventually. Okay, he'll eventually die, or I'll eventually die. One of the two. <laughs> Yeah, this this really isn't as hard as I'm making it. I'm serious, guys. I mean, this is Mouser, for Christ's sake. <laughs> this is the first level boss here. All, all, the only thing that's different is that the platform's a little higher. <laughs> Seriously.
seriously. The, the bombs don't even explode any faster. Come on, Mouser, you're going down. <laughs> that one's gonna hit him. There we go. Oh, okay, I think we're back on track here. There we go. We got the timing. We got the timing, kinda. <laughs> And that's not going to explode in his face, is it? Yeah. These boss battles, I mean, the bo battles with Mouser can last quite a while. But they're kind of fun. Aw, oh, but they're fun anyway. What is wrong with me? I keep getting exploded. <laughs> Pieces of me are flying all over the place. See what I mean about this game being gory and not for kids? <laughs> oh, come on! Hold on a sec. Okay, we're back. <laughs> I, gave, I uh, made sure I got him a couple hits in. Oh shoot! It's so simple, PK Gam. Just stay away from the bombs that are flashing, and you won't take a hit. There we go. See? Isn't that easy, PK Gam? Why are you playing so stupid? The flashing bombs are the ones that explode, not the regular bombs. <laughs> That was like the dumbest series of deaths ever. So yeah, I gave him like four hits and I just uh, came on back on camera for the last hit, I guess. And this is 7-1, one of the hardest stages in the game. Well, it should be because we are nearing the end game here, people. This is the last level, World 7. Oh, it's getting exciting in here. And we got a righty bird across there. That bird right there would be very nice, but I'm gonna have to take this one. Okay. Yeah, this is the only way through this level is to go on this thingy and just jump over it and uh, yeah, just like this. And uh, yeah, there's a rocket right here. This is the only way out of this area to my knowledge. <laughs> And this takes you to this area, which is probably one of the most annoying to bypass areas in the entire game. And I'm going to show you why. See, see these clouds here, right down here? Yeah, you have to walk your way down these clouds like this. Oh, shoot. <laughs> and you fail and fail and fail, usually. Except somehow I made it through. Come on, shoot a bullet. Oh, God, do not... Oh! Oh my god, I should really get rid of- No! Get rid of him first! I just realized something. They give you enough cherries in this area for a star! Oh, come on! How did I not realize that before? That's the idea, is to starify yourself and then be able to pass by unscathed! Oh! And I just got hit by the spark. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention right there, but uh, yeah, that, that area is a lot easier when you actually pay attention to getting the cherries. <laughs> you can get through it as being small, uh, small toad without having to take a hit too. Oh, I can get that heart. I really should get that heart too. <laughs> and there we go. Alrighty, we're making some progress here. Don't kill me. Oh no 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 no! Oh man, don't kill me! Don't kill me! <laughs> 